as we go into this uh, final match against uh, for the first best of five here to decide who's going to win this kind of uh, this back and forth. We've got Cure in the bottom right. Starcraft 1 Terran. Solar in the bottom left. Uh, Starcraft 2 Zerg. Uh, again, special thanks to Realms World for sponsoring this event. We hope to do more of these in the future. It's been a lot of fun, casting SC Evo and kind of learning Starcraft and seeing it in a way we've just never really seen before. Uh, also, guys, if you can, go to tastelessthreads.com. That's my merch shop. Uh, you can buy... This Tastosis shirt, uh, a bunch of other stuff over there. Um, you can use the command merch in the chat to go there. But we got a bunch of cool kind of esports RTS gaming stuff. The shirts are pretty good. They're pretty good. They're so good that you actually wear them outside as well. And you yeah. just walk around with your own face I on did. your shirt. I actually, I have a story. <laughs> I, w I wore this shirt like this is two weeks ago. I went and met up with my friend at a bar. And then the lady went, is that you on your shirt? And I, <laughs> she I forgot I, had, I, I was just streaming, and then I wore it she out. She goes, it. is that you? First of all, this is like a really unflattering drawing of me, but it, <laughs> yeah. it clearly is me. And she goes, is that you? And I go, yeah. And she goes, you wear your own merch? <laughs> That's what she said. And I was like, oh, I'm a loser. Like, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh, um, all right. So this is uh, three barracks. Wow. Yeah, three what? racks after a one uh, a uh, CC first here for cure. You know why this looks so funny is I guess I'm still not used to the um, the fact that the StarCraft one race gets so many workers, so they always just have a lot of buildings out right away. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I guess because for for Terran as well, because like you have to take the SCVs off to then you know build with them. You yeah, can't, it's not like Protoss where you can just build it and then just go back to mining. Taking three SCVs off when you already only have like a few to begin with is. You know that's a lot of lost income. So yeah, to be able to do that here with the the, the Evo mod definitely is uh, altering some of the builds, I guess, a little bit here. So it's going to be a three Rex Marine follow up to the CC first. Solar going to all in again. Is he going to just be like, oh, this isn't a yeah. Protoss, but what if I just Roach Ravager all in again anyway? I feel like Roach Ravager all in should be like almost unstoppable, but it keeps barely not winning. Yeah, I think the second game. I'm I'm, I'm actually surprised Solar went for it again on the re game just because he. I guess he just thought it was going to be so easy to win with it, but I guess many just kind of was like, oh, if you're going to do that, I'll just be more prepared this time, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, don't I know. guess I need more cannons. <laughs> Can we zoom in on the StarCraft Marine? Let me take a look at that. It has, like, little yellow shoulder pads. Look at that. Oh, that's the... Uh, oh, it's got little stars. It's the decal. You can change that with uh, yeah. it's the SC2 thing. So, yeah, yeah. Cures yeah. is the little star because he's got that on the, the command centers, too. Yeah. Very cute. Very nice. Looking like he's sponsored by Hardee's over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, was that Carl's Jr. now? Okay, I, never mind. I, I digress. Don't I don't know. Moving on. Not my Moving area on. Of expertise um, here. So Terran should be able to come out here and push. And um, oh, Firebats following up as well. Yeah. So this looks like actually a pretty common StarCraft One build, although you only have two barracks when you do it in StarCraft One because you have less workers. Yeah, we'll see what Solar is going to be able to do to defend against this because he actually doesn't have any tech except for Lings and. Uh, queens, which in StarCraft 2 terms, that's plenty enough to deal with basically every harassment for the next 15 minutes. But in StarCraft <laughs> Brood War, yeah. that might be a little bit different. We're not quite sure. So we're going to have to be throwing down a spine crawler as well to help deal with this uh, initial pressure here. He's going to get a lot of lings. I'm curious what the fire bats are going to do, if they're actually going to be able to deal a lot of splash damage. They look so funny. Look how tiny those things SC are. SC <laughs> Evo fire bats seem better than Brood War fire bats. Do they? Brood War fire bats, it seems like they. Like you need to get them in certain moments. But they're just not quite as strong, where I feel like, because the pathing's so much smoother. Right. And it does feel like the, the spread of damage is a little bit bigger. I could be wrong about that. Okay. Solar's being pretty, pretty good at kind of keeping this Terran zoned out. But, oh, is he going to be able to get in front? We'll be able to deny the wraparound for now. The other side of, or the other pack of lings was on the complete other side. So it looks like Kira's going to be able to just sprint up into this third base. So could get a nice hold position on the ramp as well. I think this is just a dead hatchery, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the problem is queens are slow off creep. Well, hold on a second. I uh, kind of gives up the ramp, but I guess it's putting him behind the minerals as well. So it's still a little awkward. I feel like now he's going to get stuck in here, though, right? Can yeah. He knocking out. Oh my God, he's making banelings too. Oh my. Wait, is Kira just going to do the around the world and somehow get out of here? No, because it's going to be the surround for the Lings. We'll, we'll get on top of everything. The Queen's also dealing a lot of extra damage. Their Banelings not even required. So a decent amount of 
indirect <laughs> economic damage, forcing Solar to make so many early units to be able to defend against that. He's only on 39 drones right now. But will it allow him to potentially do a counterattack with Baneling Tech? It looks like not. Seems like there's enough Marines and Fire Bats and whatnot for uh, Solar to be a little bit caution cautionary of that uh, initial, or that secondary push, I should say. Yeah. So now we have to face Banelings, SC2 Banelings versus uh, Terran StarCraft 1. I mean, Baneling, the Baneling is the best unit in StarCraft 2, right? Yeah. I mean, there's base. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, so how exactly does Terran want to grapple with that? Also, and I don't know if we're going to get to that point in this game, there are, like, weird mech switches in late game TVZ. I don't know if it's going to happen here. Um, otherwise, it's pretty common for the Terran player to just kind of go bio and then start to accumulate lots of science vessels. And then you just start to spam out Irradiate. Yeah, I wonder how Irradiate works out in this uh, scenario, considering how much the, the oh, it's really stuff good. will clump up. That's surely going to be absolutely ridiculous. It's it's pretty bonkers, man. I want to see an Eraser move, man. Yeah. Let's Eraser the drones, please. I need to yeah. see that. At least for this situation, though, Cure at least is a StarCraft II player, so he kind of knows how to micro against Banelings in the first place with Bio, whereas maybe the, some of the StarCraft 1 Terrans wouldn't be as accustomed to, to knowing, you know, how to, like, split black, split back and whatnot. So uh, I'm curious to see what's that what that's going to look like when it comes to StarCraft 1 uh, Bio units themselves, especially with all the medevacs as well, to be able to kind of maybe uh, soak up some of the Bane Link hits and whatnot. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the creep continuing to spread out now. And again, this is StarCraft II creep, so you know, you're going to be faster and able to engage better. So that's going to be a lot to grapple with. You know, Terrans in StarCraft One versus uh, uh, Zergs, they tend to um, stay back until it's really time to move out. But uh, that means that like you can just spread creep endlessly as a StarCraft II Zerg, right? Um, yeah. It, you know... In StarCraft 2, Terrans have more tools to kind of wipe creep out, like Reapers and Hellions are basically fast enough that the Zerg can't really do that much. But it feels like in StarCraft 1, Terran, like, you can just go ham with, with creep everywhere. Yeah, I guess at least until these science vessels are out to be able to actually detect anything. Not You don't want to just... I mean, I guess you don't have the same amount of scan presence in StarCraft 1 as you do in, or in, as you do in StarCraft 2. Am I right on that? Like you, you, Sorry, you, you, you can't, just, you time, can't just spam out scans in the same way, I guess, because I feel like you have only a couple you, of uh, comsat add-ons, whereas in StarCraft Two you have three orbitals of scans, right? right? Yeah, yeah, th that's a good point. Like, um, you're also balancing with mules, but I feel like when it gets to certain points in the game, you just see so much scan being thrown down. Yeah, well, you're usually trying to scan game. like where's their army at, you know, try to figure out if you can like move through there. We'll scan for lurkers as well. Lurkers aren't the same kind of threat. They, they can be made, obviously, in StarCraft Two. Okay, we got a Baneling counterattack coming in here. And uh, there is just not enough to defend all these SCVs. So the CC is going to be lifted. The Banes are going to connect. Um, and only a few are actually going to... Oh, dude. That is a nice catch from Solar. Completely capitalizing on the fact that Cure is trying to run back to his main base here to defend everything. And the Banelings will be able to get on top of all those medics. The Marines will stay alive, but a huge chunk of the important units there, being the medics and the tanks, completely killed off. And all of the SCVs at this third base getting um, absolutely eviscerated. Okay, so Cure took a real beating there, and Solar is just taking more and more of the map. Uh, the creep is continuing to spread out. We have a fourth base, and that's also going to give uh, Solar a fifth base because that's the natural that connects right up into that main. Um, I mean, there's a 50 supply lead. Solar's looking really, really good right now. Do you think he's going to make lurkers with these hydras? Or are we going to see StarCraft II lurkers versus Brood War Terran? Is that. I mean, I'm the, down. the Lurker Spines should surely be still pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah. The damage, I guess, is not the same, but the, the again, the pathing and clumping is, yeah. is something to think about. But I feel like you don't have to do that when you're just going Hydraling Bane. Like, you can just <laughs> spam out Banelings as your splash damage anyway, because there isn't as good of a a, a, um, a way to deal with that as Brood War Terran, because you don't have Widow Mines all the time to be able to spam out. And going Vultures for Mines is not exactly something that is easy to transition into when you're going for Bio like this. Yeah, I mean, I, I think everything you said is right. It, it does feel like also just the fact that Terran lost so much, it's a bit of a problem, right? Yeah. And especially with Banelings out here, Banelings uh, and Hydras. 
so much damage. Keep in mind, StarCraft 1 Marines are actually really weak. Like, individually. I mean, I know they are as well in StarCraft 2, but I think even more so here. Yeah, you, like, really need to have a decent clump of them with medic support yeah. to be able to do anything, I feel like. Well, also, I feel like when you look at StarCraft 1, Terran, I mean, a lot, a lot of StarCraft 1 is sort of hinged on the fact that the bigger your army gets, the more cumbersome the game becomes. Uh, and so it's like, like you can't grab every Zergling in the game and move it at once. But here we're in the StarCraft 2 UI, so maybe that changes things a little bit. Yeah, it seems like uh, Kira, though, is just essentially focused now on trying to turtle up as much as possible to recoup some of that economy that he's lost to make sure this third base actually gets set up here, make sure he doesn't just get busted down the front. Solar's kind of content with letting that happen, it seems like. He's got a huge <coughs> section of units over on the top side ready to do a counterattack whenever he feels like he should. And he's going to send the mainlings first to try and get into the meat and potatoes of this third base here to really destroy absolutely everything. We'll see how much this is going to do. I mean, Kira's not really out of position necessarily with his main army. I, I wonder if Kira's just kind of assuming that he's going to get it pushed up the front. And it looks like that's actually going to happen here, too, because Solar is just going to absolutely go for it. Irradiate getting thrown off onto some of these units, though. Uh, a couple science vessels getting pulled off over here. I do not like the SC Evo Irradiate animation. Yeah, what is this? That is an interesting little uh, It's like effect. cartoon green stinky lines <laughs> coming off of them. Um, so, Irradiate, um, for those who have not played StarCraft 1, you can only cast it on bio. Or no, no, you can only damage his bio. You can cast it on anything. So you can actually cast it on another science vessel and then have the the science vessel like damage stuff around it um but generally the idea is you would just keep accumulating so many science vessels in a game that you can just kind of cycle through irradiates endlessly and chisel the zerg down with damage over time yeah i mean solar's whole game plan here as well is just seems to me to continually deny mining from this third base here can't really just get enough stuff over here to be able to deny these harassments from killing everything and, I mean, the last one was able to kill so many SCVs that there's not even a lot here to begin with on the next attempt anyways. And it's not like Solar's really that, you know, upset with losing all these units because he's just got so much map control. He's got so much map presence. He's got basically every map or every uh, base on his side of the map. Even getting this middle gold base here, which I guess the, it was turned into a gold base in the StarCraft 2 version here. So uh, that'll be a lot of extra income. And, uh, I mean, he's going to be pretty content with just continually setting up these these uh, these little run-bys here. This has been our longest game of SC EVO so far. I do feel like the writing's on the wall. Never. Oh! oh. That was a secret oh radiant second God, one as well. It's so much better in this oh version. Oh, my God. All right, there we go. Finally, <clears throat> Kira oh getting God. something. You know, it, it's this is where you can appreciate how much things clump up in StarCraft 2. Yeah. StarCraft 1, you'll irradiate something, and it'll, it'll kind of run off on its own. But here... Wow. It's a little hard to section off units as well because they're all so clumped up. So it's kind of hard to pick off the one unit that is actually hit by the Irradiate. You can't really, can't really tell which one it is. Oh my god, these clouds are just absolutely huge. Getting off on top of everything. Solar, able to identify that one Hydra. We'll be able to split that off. You can see, it's kind of funny because there's like, it's it's both sides doing the same ability. Because Zerg has that in StarCraft 2 yeah. where they have uh, the, the blinding cloud or whatever. Not blinding cloud, the whatever it's called, I can't remember. But uh, it's they're just each doing it to oh, each other. Oh, dark swarm, you mean? Yep. No, the uh, they they have a radiate, but the the one on for only air units. I can't I can never remember the name of it oh, for yeah. some reason. But anyways, it's just kind of funny. They're both doing the same thing, but they can only do it to the one can do it to the ground, one can do it to the air. Another ling attack gonna try to do everything. We'll be able to dissuade the army from staying in the middle here, so that'll allow uh, Solar to get some damage at the front. But uh, what the heck? <laughs> what is oh, this yeah. doing here? Yeah. That is not supposed this was to be the there. Leaving my base was a bad idea. <laughs> I'm a command center. I should have stayed where the minerals were. What in the world? Well, all right. Solar kills a fourth base. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to go to their expansions and wipe them out. Other times they float the CC into the middle of the map and you just kill it with your stuff. Yep. Okay, so I'm actually, to be honest, surprised Solar doesn't have more of the map. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's he could probably just take the entire top uh, section of the mini-map here. By the way, Terran is finally going to do something. Now, I don't know. This is going to sound weird, but stay with me on this idea, guys. I don't know if it is that helpful to be able to move your entire army on one hockey and TVZ. I feel like a lot of this is because it's going to clump things up for Banelings so much. 
Yeah, I guess having multiple control groups with only yeah. 12 units kind of forces you to spread split your out. units out. Yeah, exactly. And whereas here, you can easily just kind of A move, and then all of a sudden you're getting irradiated, or all of a sudden you're getting Baneling, and like you just didn't naturally spread off uh, initially. So, yeah, that does, it could be a little difficult for that uh, for that reason. The tank line here is absolutely ridiculous, though. This is actually going to be really hard for Solar to actually engage into if he ever wants to. It's funny to see the gold base in the middle taken. That's definitely a very StarCraft II move. This is always the last spot taken, always, in, like, every matchup uh, on this map. But I guess, you know, you don't have gold bases in StarCraft One either. Which makes me wonder why don't we just why don't we mess with gold bases in StarCraft One? That can't that has to be doable, right? You can just make that in the map editor. Surely, I, I would assume so. I mean, Brood War players in general seem a bit more open to different map features being added and whatnot. I imagine. Yeah, I think StarCraft Two is becoming more open to that. Yeah, but a hundred percent. Okay, can things. can we check the Terran's natural? Like, what does he actually have? Okay, so he, that's what I thought. He's gonna mine out. Yeah. He's got nothing in the main base that just mined out right then. The natural is completely dry as well. This third base just cannot get a whole uh, SCV line onto it. The science vessels are trying to dive deep to do some deep irradiates on whatever they can find. We'll be able to get some of these queens and whatnot. Actually, one of the queens killing one of the... Nope. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Spoke too soon. What is... <gasps> no. What? what? What is happening? Again? It's a glitch in the matrix. No. Where did this come from? How is this happening again? What? What is this? Are these just like spawning randomly and they're just like floating in the middle of the map? I haven't what? even seen them what? in the production. Uh, yeah, I, what is going on here? What the? Okay, well, mass irradiated and all these ultras as they're trying to come into the tank line and the marines won't actually be able to do anything here. What is hap? What is this? What is going on here? Hello? Okay. Well. Once I understand, but twice? <laughs> so now now we have a push coming here across the map. Now, now I think Terran's finally getting to do what, you know, a StarCraft 1 Terran wants to do. He's starting to, you know, uh, just irradiate after irradiate after irradiate. Um, and look, if, if the Terran could push into the bottom left, he could take out all the tech and probably win the game. Got to be a little bit more careful with his tanks. Oh, Are we going to see Cure win this? This is wild to me. Yeah, I mean, he's just gotten a gigantic army, and it's so hard to deal with Irradiate in this uh, in this iteration of the game. The Marines are just completely uncontested at this point. Mass Ultras coming out, though. The Irradiate energy is kind of gone here, and without Medics to, to heal the stimmed bio, holy crap, everything oh. is just getting absolutely blown apart. <clears throat> God, I thought it was about to be a Terran win, and then that many Ultras came down there. He's at 90 supply. And I think, yeah, that's going to be it. GG. Oh, my God. Solar wins. Wow. That was a what wild ending. ending, yeah. I thought yeah. he for sure he actually just was able to eventually yeah. amass enough. And he's like, oh, I'm going to do the Brood War Terran thing where I walk across the map and win. <laughs> and then apparently not. Jesus Christ. Wow.